how your mama doing, but, uh, uh I guess y'all heard about this mother named Patricia something, a mother in New Jersey taking her five-year-old daughter to a tanning salon, and her daughter getting burnt on one of the tanning beds, and she's been charged, I think she's been charged with child neglect, I can't say for sure, or nothing like that, but I wasn't there, but when, I wasn't there to see what happened to the child, but, but it's like this though, why would you take a child, to, one thing is, why would you take your, take your five-year-old child to a tanning salon? to get a tan. That's the first question people should have asked. It's like, why would you take your child to a tennis salon? Why? Like, I was, and why, why is this woman getting so many tans? For real though, why is this woman getting so many, so many tans? They say her skin is like pleather. Pleather. Uh, it's like the whole blackface thing because she's got a tan so badly she tanned herself so badly it's like she's doing the whole blackface gig you probably say oh Joe, F Joe don't be a racist no for real though look at her you cannot sit there and say say oh she's just doing it because she enjoys it because she likes to do all this no it's like this you should, it's, it's like this I don't think any woman or anybody should be going to a tanning salon so much that they tan the shit out of their skin. Tan the shit out of their skin that they look black. You know how much skin damage she has done? Like, you probably like, what you mean skin damage? It's like this. When you tan, like, when you go to a tanning salon, that's the sh quickest way to get skin cancer. Because you're right there on lights, brighter, like almost brighter than the sun, to tan your skin. And the longer you last, the longer you stay in a tanning booth, the more you're reliable to get skin cancer. And for this woman to sit up here and tan herself out like that, and then have her child sitting off in the tanning salon with her. And then accidentally burns herself on one of the beds. I think there's something wrong with her because one thing is they say that she got some kind of disorder, uh, tanning, noxic, whatever. Where she tans so damn much that her skin looks like pleather, or she looks black. Like this, how you like? I've actually heard, heard comedians tell jokes about people like her. I'm for real, I'm not lying. Look up any comedian that will sit there and crack jokes about white folks tanning so much. Like, look up Paul Moody, where he talks shit about white folks like tanning. Oh, uh, white folks trying to be black because they trying to darken up and get lip injections and ass injections. I said, what black folks gonna do? Lay out in the moonlight and get lighting up? I, and... and and this is where stereotypes come from. This is where stereotypes come from. When a comedian cracks a joke about that, and then somebody, somebody out in the real world actually backs that up by doing these stunts, that you making these stereotypes true and real. And I think this woman needs some help. Because one thing is, why would you tan yourself out like that? Why is the question. Do you want to die before your kids graduate from high school or graduate from college? I guess so. If she's going to go around tanning herself and get skin cancer, by the time that child hits middle school, that woman's going to have skin cancer like a motherfucker. Because she loves to tan. There's no way in hell. You're going to catch it. Catch it. Like, this, this should be a warning to everybody. Not just young women or young men. But I mean... This should be a warning to everybody that tans. Like, this is serious shit. That this is the quickest way to get skin cancer. And another thing is, like, why would this woman bring her uh, child to a tennis line? That's the first question. Like, she, she couldn't get a babysitter. Uh, she was the child in, wasn't in school or something because I don't think woman should be bringing a 
a child to a tennis salon and letting them play around till they get burned. Then the husband, her husband wants to sit there and want to sit there and say, well, she got a sunburn. No, 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 no. There's a difference between fluorescent li uh, them lights in a tanning booth from the sun. When you stand on the sun for a good bit or for a while, yeah, you get a tan. But when you stay out there too damn long, you get burnt. But when you lay your body up against a high tanning booth that's been on for hours or somebody's in it and it's very high, that is not a sun tan. That's not a sunburn. That is a burn from a light bulb. It's like me taking the cover off a light and just grabbing the bulb with my hand when the light's on. And I feel so I feel so bad for the kids because their mom is sitting up there wanting cancer. You probably sitting up there saying, "Well, well, you can't pass judgment. Maybe she wants to look good. How can you look good by tanning yourself to a point where that you almost can pass off as black or Hispanic or Arabic?" Now, for real, how can you sit up there and tan out, tan yourself out like that, man? I can sit up and say, well, it's not a crime to get it tan. No, but, but there's health issues when you tan yourself out like that. There's health issues like skin cancer. Like, you pain, like you're teaching your kids. Like, right, right there, she's in her 40s. And she's got like a five-year-old kid. Her kid's like under the age of ten. And she's forty-five. Now, why ain't this woman setting a prime example for her kids not to do certain things like this? Why ain't she teaching her, her kids like, uh, don't stand in a, don't be in a tanning booth so long, or you're gonna catch skin cancer, or put on some kind of lotion, suntan lotion, so your skin doesn't burn or something like that, but she has it. She has sat there and made a joke out of herself and out of and, and, and the laughing stock of New Jersey. And that's very sad that, that a woman would do that just to make herself look look good. And also putting also neglecting her child. Y'all probably saying, you don't know what you're talking about, Afro Joe. You don't know, maybe, you say, like, I go to town, it's none all the time, and nothing's happened. You can say that. You can say nothing's happened because you've been there. But you can't catch cancer from sitting off in the tanning booth, from getting suntanned so much. I don't go out in the sun, and I, I don't, I don't go out in the sun. You're probably thinking, I'm pale. Nope, I'm not pale. Even if I'm outside or inside, I, I will look like a Mexican no matter what. Even though I'm biracial, I can probably, I can pass off as a Latino. But I'm not gonna sit there and go to a tanning salon just to make myself look good because they thinking getting darker is better. Like I'm for real. I don't see how in the world people do this where. You're allowing that you're tan yourself, like you're going out and getting in the tanning booth, not giving a care in the world about skin cancer, knowing that this is going to eat at your skin, eat at your blood cells, eat at your skin cells, tearing them down. There's no cure for cancer. Only way to, only way to get out of your system is to beat it by chemotherapy. Now this woman's going to have to go through chemotherapy with all that tanning that she has been done, doing over the years. Now that, now her children's gonna grow up without a mother because that's all she, this woman knows how to do is tan, 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 tan. Now that's bad business. It's all good for a woman trying to look her best, but when it comes down to it, when it comes down to making yourself look good, I don't think tanning yourself 
so like tend yourself out like that so badly that you can pass off as a black person or a Latino or an Arabic and that's bad business that's making that's not that's not that's making you that's making you look bad and that's killing yourself that's like committing suicide like in a way you can probably see all oh, this committing suicide but in another way it's not because cancer is a slow painful death slow painful death just like regular cancer and I don't think this woman should be doing this to herself because she would want to put a little pigmentation in her skin like for real though like like going like get, you can get a tan you can get a tan and sit up there and get a little tan look good and all like that but doing it every day for several hours of the day like I don't get it it's, it's she's worse than the people from the Jersey Shore I'm for real that's worse than me like I hope these like I said I hope people realize that that to look at this woman as a prime prime example that don't don't sit up there and go to the tanning booth or tanning salon so much to get a good tan because you can end up like this woman where you're tan so badly that you got skin cancer and never ever bring your child never bring a child that's under a certain age to a tanning salon and let them run around not knowing what's going on in the in the facilities because if it's a young child sitting off in a tanning salon running around they're going to be curious they're going to wonder what would happen if I place my hand on this light or whatever I said to me I'm gonna have to like for one thing is this woman I think this woman definitely needs some help some therapy and probably needs to be checked up on to see if she's got any skin cancer in many ways I think she needs to go to parenting classes because of what has happened I don't think her kids should be taken away from her but I think that she needs to take parenting classes because that right there was not a good a good thing to do is to take a child to tanning even a doctor will tell you uh, like if a doctor tell you uh, if there's actually warning signs or it's just like tanning should have be like I think some of them shops actually have them signs up you gotta be a certain age to tan at this salon or whatever if there is I think the woman if there is then I, I give them props for because they got the signs up saying you gotta be a certain age to tan here if, they, if it doesn't, I think they should start posting them up. Because if you see a young woman coming in with a five-year-old child and she's going to get a tan, the first thing you say, we can't serve your, we can't, well, we can't do business with you because you got a young person, there's no, and we're not a daycare. What if that girl, what if that child would have got locked into the, the tanning booth and the th machine was on and just tanned her so badly that she got burnt all around. See what I'm saying? Because you never know because they sit up. You never know because that's not a good environment to be taking a child to. A little tan ain't gonna help nobody. How you know on a child like they play outside all the time? That's outside. That's different from a tanning booth. Like the sun is millions and billions of miles away from Earth, from Earth. But people can go to a tennis salon right down the street, a few blocks away, down at the mile, around the corner from the mile, and get a tan. And, you, and that's how it is. It's just so easy to get a tan today. Even people even buy tanning booths, the tanning booths, and putting them in their home. Like, do you really want to sit there and be a mother and have a tenant booth in your house where you got young kids? Like, I think she was in one of those 
the ones to stand up in and just sit there and stand. Like for real, do you really want to sit there and have that in your house and your kid locks himself in the the machine? Like I, uh, and this is what makes me question people because this is what made me question people because they never make the best decisions for themselves or for the kids. Like why doesn't anybody make the best decisions for themselves? Why? Because they they want to be something that they're not. They want to have look good. They want to look they want to look great. Like I always told, I always tell women. I've met, I've actually met women in real life where they don't need makeup, they don't need a tan. Now tell them, I said, look, you look good without makeup, you look good without a tan. Why go out and put all this stuff on you or all over your face and something like that? Even makeup is a bad health issue. But I'm saying bullshit. No, I'm not. Look up how look up the makeup and see what happens when that shit goes out of date. When you got expired makeup, even that is a health issue. Like I said, I I it, it just I, I ponder on people because because this woman did this. You probably saying, well, leave her alone, leave her alone. She didn't do anything wrong. I tell you this. If she didn't do anything wrong, if she didn't do anything wrong, she would never got in trouble for it. She would never got arrested for this if she wouldn't did if she didn't do nothing wrong. She in every decision that you make there is a reaction to it. You're asking for the punishment. That's all it is to it. Every action that you choose, there's going to be punishment that, that you just chose, that you just, that comes with it. If you chose to carry a gun, you chose the, you chose the, 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 the things that come with it. You chose the, 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 the trouble that comes with it. When you choose to sit there and go out and get a suntan and tan yourself out and make your skin look like pleather leather, and skin cancer, you you chose that because you think you just you need that. It's the skin cancer. Like women, like for real women, think about this before you jump in the fucking tanning booth and tan yourself out like that. First saying, well, are you saying tanning or tearing? Tanning, T A N N. I mean T A N. Tan. Or tanning, T-A-N-N-I-N-G, but but I hope some of y'all understand what I'm saying because it's all about it's it's all about doing the right thing for yourselves and doing the right thing for your children. Like, do you really want to walk around looking like a oompa loompa like Snooky, or look or looking like this woman? Her skin's all pleather, trying to and can pass off as a black person. I'm not saying she's trying that she wants to pass off as a black person, but the way she tanned herself, the way all the tanning she did, she can pass off. I'm not trying she trying to say she's racist and all that, but it it, it makes no sense for her to do this. Like I know she wants to see her kids grow up, but she's never going to get the chance if she's going to continue tanning every day and hours on end just to make herself look good cause you can take it now if you look at it like now you look at it see this is when she's got the tan see just brown now you look at her now she looks like hell to me now why do you got eyeliner as your lip liner that's the funniest thing to see is an eyeliner as your lip liner like for real woman, somebody need to teach you how to put some makeup on, but like I was saying, man, it was just unnecessary for her to do this to herself. It was unnecessary for her to drag her child out to a tanning salon to get a tan. Because a child 
doesn't deserve to be sitting up in the sitting up in the damn tanning salon waiting on their parents to come out to get a hell of fine tan. I'm for real. I'm I'm that that makes no sense that this woman would do that to herself just to make herself look good. And I, I don't know what to say about a person that I, I don't see how in the hell that this woman loves to do this on a daily. I really don't. I really don't see how a woman can sit there and tan herself out and love it and just love doing it. Because I can, I like, I'm, I like, I don't like tanning. But the reason why I don't like tanning because you listen to the warnings of tanning. Listen to the warnings of uh, uh, about getting skin cancer and all this and that just because you're trying to make yourself look good. And like I say, man, I hope the little girl's okay because I felt kind of bad when I heard about this girl getting burned off a, a tanning bed, a tanning booth. And I thought it was just irresponsible for the mother to take her child down to a tanning salon. Because tanning salons are not a place for kids. It's not. It was just irresponsible. And I think this woman needs to get professional help. Now, I'm not dogging her out. I'm not calling her no bitches or whores. I'm not playing no songs saying looking boy or looking girl, whatever. I'm just stating the facts, man, that she needs to do the right thing and, and seek professional help and trying to see if she can get her life back on track and see if she has skin cancer or not because I'm not wishing skin cancer on this woman. It just, she's asking, like, like for real, we, like I'm trying. I'm, I want to say she's asking for skin cancer, but I'm not. But she's putting herself in that predicament where she's gonna get skin cancer, and that's the choice she, she's gonna make if she continues on tanning herself out like that. I'm, out of all my years of being on this earth, I never seen a person be so obsessed with tanning that they can pass themselves off as another minority just to make themselves look good and that's bad business plus uh, bodily harm has done to her child by bumping into a booth a tanning booth that's been on and that's how it is well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Afro Joe, Ten Like a T I E S. Uh, tell me what you think about this topic. If you don't like what I got to say, don't leave a comment. Don't say nothing. Just move on. Go fuck with somebody else. If you like what I got to say, leave a video response or a comment. Tell me what you think. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to both my channels, CeeLo Junior Two and CeeLo Junior Three. Thanks, peace, love, and soul.